What's up guys, my name is Eldon, this is Cars and Coasters. We're at San Francisco Zoo. We're back here to check on the Madagascar uh, area coming to the, to the park. And uh, yeah, just check on a few things, see if there's anything new. And uh, man, beautiful day in San Francisco. Uh, by the way, my name, channel name is Cars and Coasters, but doesn't mean I just like cars. I mean, doesn't mean my channel covers cars and coasters. Uh, those are my two favorite things in life, so just the name of the channel. But uh, I like to cover theme parks and also zoos and uh, other cool things to do in, in you know, California and uh, maybe other places in the future, so we'll see. But anyways, going to get in the zoo, check it out, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's go. All right, tickets were 20 or is $25 to get in, uh, I believe it was discounted. It was actually $27 without the uh, the discount from buying a ticket from the California Academy of Science. So yeah, pretty cool, you get a couple dollars off. Gonna go in and scan my ticket and uh, head in. Made our way into, into the zoo. We already see our first animal, guys. Look at this. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> Anyways, uh, an animal got loose. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Squirrels go nuts sometimes. All right, so I actually ended up upgrading my uh, ticket. I traded it in and ended up buying a season pass. So what's cool about the season pass uh, is that it's $127 and you and uh, a guest get in for free as many times as you want for a year. So it's pretty cool, actually well worth it. So um, two visits with two guests is paid for itself. So. Very well worth it if you guys uh, get a chance to do that, especially if you're visiting the zoo more often than once, uh, a couple times a year. So, especially with the new Madagascar thing coming. Not only you get the pass, but you also get uh, two vouchers for the carousel ride. So, kind of cool. They threw that in there on top of that. So, not bad. And you do have to pay for parking as well. So every visit you come in, uh, if you're not driving then you don't have to worry about obviously parking but if you uh, come to the zoo and you drive you do have to pay for parking before you uh, leave the zoo so just a heads up but yeah enough of me talking I can't wait to come back to the, uh, come back to the zoo more often um, this is my third time here in about a year, no second time second time in about a year so yeah can't wait to come back and cover this more so anyways to the Madagascar area all right, lemur forest. Check this out, guys. Now, it's been about almost a year. This is the concept art. And this is what we're dealing with. Not quite there yet. A little ways out. Now, last time I heard I was here, uh, I heard from some staff that they're dealing with some uh, construction issues and stuff like that. So, a couple of hiccups they're trying to fork out. But um, it's looking really nice, though, so far. Um, kind of reminds me of Disney World's Tree of Life, just the, the base of it. <laughs> but if those branches were to just be a lot bigger, man, that would be cool. And like the lighting is gonna come on it. And what if they had some like projector projectors of animals on the actual uh, trunk itself? That would be really cool too, like some type of light show. But um, unfortunately, the zoo is not really open that late. Uh, it closes at 5 every day, by the way, guys. Monday, or every day, every day of the week. So, um, 10 a.m., I believe, to 5. So, yeah. All right, let's walk around and see what else we can uh, see. Yeah, so it looks like there's still a bit ways from uh, completion. I was hoping to be a little more um, closer to being open by now, but, um, yeah. You know, construction slow sometimes. If you want perfection, you can't rush perfection. That's my thing. I know uh, we, myself, want things to be uh, open and done already, but um, you know, it is what it is. We'll be here. Yes. Ooh, lemurs! Sorry, I had a squirrel moment. <laughs> lemurs. These things are freaking awesome. They sound like loud cats when they make noises. These things are so cool, man. So these will actually be featured in the uh, Madagascar um, area. So this, I believe this will be part of the Madagascar area. They're gonna kinda, um, there's a bridge in the back that they're gonna um, kind of branch together. So I'll show you that in a minute. These things are so cool to watch. <laughs> Way more balanced than any human I know, including myself. <laughs> 
So yeah, this bridge right here eventually will be connected uh, into the rest of the Madagascar area. So, or the Madagascar area will be connected to this area. So yeah, eventually one day. Can't wait, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty cool. Hopefully uh, I can continue and, uh, well, it looks like it is continuing, but. <laughs> All right, well, not much has changed. All right, I wanna go try to walk around as much as we can. I only have about an hour left in the park, so um, yeah. Go see what else we can uh, get into. I always say that. Let's just see what we can get into. It's like a go-to, I guess. It's uh, pretty comfortable saying that because we are getting into things, aren't we? Look at that wild lemur. Lemur, <laughs> looking for food. Wow, that's crazy. They're learning so fast. Just kidding. <laughs> what a nice day. <laughs> I'm just in a. I'm in a good mood, right? <laughs> yeah. By the way, guys, they do have food. Um, some things are closed because it's towards the end of the day, but if you get here early, every option is available. So if you guys don't want to grab anything on the way here, um, yeah, they do have plenty of options for you. Can't go wrong with pizza, what can I say? And they do have good snacks in there. Last time I was here, they had some really good, like these brownie bites, pretty good. Oh, by the way, they also have another uh, pizza restaurant in the back of the park. Um, by the train station. So, if you guys want to, I would skip that one and go to the back. And there's a better pizza place. Better one. <laughs> uh, be careful with seagulls, though, too. They will swipe down and steal a pizza from you. Yeah, a whole pizza. I've seen it happen. Does anybody remember when this was actually a functioning fountain back in the day? Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was a, it was a big fountain in here. Now it's just a... Uh, Fountain of plantry. Plants. Plants! Makes you want to go camping. <laughs> camping. All right, so I'm kind of rushing to the back of the park because I want to see if I can get into the butterfly exhibit. Yeah, if you guys know me with Six Flags, <laughs> I have a thing for butterfly exhibits. I don't know why, but I, it, this is really cool. Uh, yeah, I want to get in there. All right, so this is your pizza restaurant in the back. Yeah, at, towards the end of the day, it's closed. So <laughs> definitely get here early for your uh, pizza. And they also have salads as well. Oh, we got a new animal coming into the park, to the zoo. <laughs> uh, Andean condor. Interesting, this is back here by the uh, butterfly exhibit. So don't think it's gonna be open, we'll see. Oh my God, it's open. It's open. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is so cool. This is like, this is like Six Flags, but on steroids, guys. Huge. Yeah, and it is, it is pretty humid in here. Boa constrictor. Wow. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> oh, Guatemalan spiny-tailed iguana. Look at that tail. That's. It's a thick tail. Another lizard. That's a caiman lizard. What's up, guy? How you doing? Say hello to your mom for me. Enchanted. Got some dookies. Dookies. Blue winged teal and a ruddy duck. That's a ruddy duck right there. Ruddy duck. That's what it says. Hey man, found the smoky jungle frog, man. Yeah. What's up, man? Holy moly. An anaconda. My anaconda, my anaconda, no, just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that is huge. You got it. That's pretty good. Yeah, good thing they're uh, from South Af America. They don't belong here, that's for sure. That is crazy. Wow. Don't want to be in there. Oh, it's shedding too. 
know, I was just playing. Wow. So they used to have this cave you can go through for the kids and stuff, but it uh, looks like it's blocked off now. Not sure what's going on there, but yeah, it's a pretty cool feature though. Hopefully they can fix that and uh, we can explore. Kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones. These birds, man, just flying around. That's crazy. Dart frogs. Kind of grainy, but yeah. Time you're hiding. Anyways, that was pretty cool. It's like you're in a real forest. Yeah, it's pretty amazing in there. By the way, it closes at 4.30, so if you get in here, like me, later in the day, uh, close at 4.30, so you have some time. So anyways, I'm over here by the dinosaurs now. Check this out. A baby long neck. Littlefoot. <laughs> and it's friend, uh, Oh my gosh. Anyways. That's a that's a raptor. It's not even his friend, so. <laughs> and another friend. Oh, he's eating a toucan. <laughs> Horrible. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Alright, you guys wanna see some other animals? I know you guys watched for the Madagascar update. Unfortunately it's not a big update, but there's more animals. We'll see some animals. Alright, we got a black bear, but he's uh Sleeping. Sleeping on the job. Come on, buddy. Entertain us. No. We got the Mexican gray wolves over here. <laughs> it's going back and forth. I only see one, though. Huh. Getting his running. <laughs> Getting his steps in. I should. Oh, he's got a buddy. <laughs> That's cool. There's another one. They remind me of another one. There's three of them. Wow! <laughs> they remind me of coyotes, but they're wolves. They're they're gray wolves from Mexico. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh yeah, do not howl at them, they said. Uh, refrain from howling at them. You gotta keep them as natural as possible. Okay, after further investigation, uh, there's four of them in here. So, two there. Um, another one over here. And there's a fourth one somewhere running around here. Holy moly, guys, these grizzlies. That's a big bear, big boy, big girl, whatever they are, big bears. Can you imagine seeing us on a trail? Oh, I would just pass out. Nah, yeah, it's over. Just flop over. Be done. Crazy man. They're massive. Oh boy. The big bear. You big bear. Oh, okay. Oh, Hello. How you doing? <laughs> this is the most I've ever seen them out. Usually they're like sleeping somewhere or... Yeah, you don't usually see them both. It's usually one or the other every time I... Well, the last time I came. It's like, I come here so often. <laughs> but that's going to change, guys. It's going to change. Okay, I had no idea that grizzlies were actually smaller than polar bears. So that's the average size on the right of a grizzly, and that's the average size of a polar bear. My goodness, I would not want to see a polar bear in the wild. It's insane. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, 
They also have a lot of land back here. Potential land that they can do stuff with. <clears throat> now this is across from the horses. <clears throat> um, yeah, I guess they could use this area for parties and whatnot, but right now it's just uh, sitting stagnant. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> something in my throat. What the heck's going on? <clears throat> now, yeah, I got a whiff of something. I don't know. <clears throat> something flew in the, in the air. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we're going to go see some cats. Some kitty cats. Some big kitty cats. Meow. Holy moly. I have never seen it out before. This is a, a leopard. White leopard. That is cool, man. I ain't never seen them. Usually they're high. Well, last time I was here, it was sleeping up in this little area here, but I've never seen it out before. That tail. <laughs> so cool. Get kitty kitty. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's too bad it's not friendly. Sorry, snow leopard. It's a snow leopard. <laughs> wow. It's uh, being, uh, anyways, covered by the tree. <laughs> yeah, it's waiting to go inside. About that time. Look at that face, man. That is crazy looking. Intimidating. The least. So this snow leopard area is actually pretty new. Last time I came here, about a year ago or so, uh, they were just um, finishing it up. So, yeah, pretty new. So far, it looks, uh, looks pretty good. Yeah, it's got a big net and a viewing window here. But look at this. There's some uh, other refurbishment going on back here where the uh, tigers are at. Now, last time I was here, they were replacing some of the uh, fence back here. Like I said, about a year ago. Um, but it looks like they're reviewing the whole area now. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, by the way, guys, if this was everywhere, this material is <laughs> super soft. It is nice. Anyway, just something small, but yeah, feels good to walk on. So yeah, this is usually where the hippo's at, but it looks like towards the end of the day, it has a spot back here where it'll uh, kind of hide from the community. So... Unfortunately, it's not out today, but darn, next time. And Rhino. All by himself back here. It's crazy to think that there's a Rhino in San Francisco. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, anyways. But yeah. Pretty crazy. Last time I was here, it was kicking up dirt and uh, playing with uh, some obstacles back here, but uh, just kind of walking around today. Uh, unfortunately, no tigers today, so not sure where they're at. Maybe I did hear a rumor, well, not a rumor, some staff member said at 4 o'clock they put the animals away, so get here early, guys. Get here early. Mag gel. Mag gel. Land. Mag gel. Mag Magellanic? Penguin? Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I aced spelling class. Uh, spelling. Anyways, from penguins. <laughs> Wait, wave. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny when they little shake the little tail. Shake your tail feather. Okay, wow. Thank you. Moving on. All right, so it's about that time. They're kicking us out. I got security around the corner for me, <laughs> following me out. So, anyways, we we'll make our way to the exit, and I think that's going to conclude our video. By the way, if you have any questions on what animals are in here, this is uh, everything that they have in the zoo right now. Just a uh, big map coverage.
That's it. All right, well, that's going to conclude our video here at San Francisco Zoo. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's been a great. Uh, I was only here in here for an hour and a half, and I managed to get, managed to cover a little bit. Yeah, for you guys, <laughs> got some animals in there. The best part I like is the butterfly exhibit. That that room, I always forget what it's like being in there, but uh, it's pretty amazing. So, yeah. Anyways, um, stay tuned for the next video. I'll be covering Pier 39. If you guys are interested in that, I'm gonna head down there and uh, yeah, see what it's all about. So. Anyways, my, uh, my name is Eldon, this is Cars and Coasters, and it's been a while, it's been two weeks since I filmed, still <laughs> getting back into it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, uh, alright, have a good one, bye. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get out of here, security's following us. Okay, $11 for parking. $11? Can you believe it? $11? Goodness, eleven dollars. Okay, so parking is eleven dollars during the week, and uh, thirteen on the weekends and holidays. And my goodness, it's windy. By the flyaway. Goodbye, San Francisco Zoo. I will see you next time. And hopefully, some progress on that Madagascar area. Until then, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. It is awkward. <laughs>